Yes, Madame Temito may have made little mistake, but I think she has bounced back. So she took Epic Foundation, Epic Charity Foundation to Justice of uh, for the CDHR. So according to her now, they verified their document as in their document is the process of being verified. The videos will be out, I think, the, before I called her. She said before uh, Sunday or Monday, latest on Monday, the video will be out so that to we'll play it they don't want any alteration they don't want any edit of the video they want it raw because it's a legal tender as in legal tender as in it can be used in court because any editing makes it uh, uh, altered so so that has it so that has it they want to duplicate it for security reasons they will now social media it as in post it so that is it we congratulate her so she's doing well she's doing well we'll keep you updated on her findings let's see what pick and foundation comes out with you know it's not really the authentication of the documents that we need we need the money even if the document is authentic we no go chop paper now now the money we need now see on the other side guys we really thank her she's doing well these are what other ceo is supposed to be doing they come to social media to bamboo down there and the lambos and the and the rant you know she's there doing the work working the work you know they are there in the social media dragging each other so we will say kudos to her she messed up a bit she has bounced back see on the other side guys good evening nigerian good evening to all the ceo Bonduet and the prospective beneficiaries. I say good evening to all the uh, members of this platform, women seeking the proof about all the grants we, re we subscribe to in Nigeria. Today being the 30th day of July 2024, our team met again with another uh, grant handler, although he said categorically there that he is not a grant handler. We lay our hands on his documents and we submitted it to the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, CDHR. He was invited and he came today. I want to tell you that we have a full recorded video of everything that transpired there today. And we were told that as we have recorded it, there was they they must not when the, the video man is bringing it, saving it to the flash or the disc, he must not edit anything there. So we want him to do that first. Then he will now bring out all the copies that we can post out for all the public to see. Please take note of this, that we are looking for the documents of all the grants handlers. Either the grant is here in Nigeria or not. What we really need first is for us to identify those that have real, doc real grants, real documents, whether it's in process or it's already available in Nigeria. So today we met with the Epic Charity Foundation CEO and his team. Let's wait patiently because I don't want to do anything voice note concerning this. I want to post out what happened there bit by bit. I want to post it out. And I'm sure that from whatever you see there, you will get the answer to all what we are doing. And again, the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights will not stop in what they gather today. They will still go again to find out on their own. You will see all these things that I'm saying there. I'm very tired now. I don't want to receive calls because many of you are calling me. So please wait patiently as we are waiting for the cameraman. He has to do exactly what they ask him to do. By first saved all the videos without editing, then he will now start helping us to cut it out bit by bit so that we can post it out to you. 
Uh, thank you so much and God bless you. Again, we want to appreciate all our members that came today, the CEOs, the bondwells, and the prospective beneficiary. We were even surprised to see few of you today that you said you want to be part of today's uh, meeting, the investigation. We really, really appreciate you. We say thank you so much for coming. I also want to thank all the people that reach out to us. Defu uh, is a liar. They tried the possible best to make sure we were frustrated. Financially, truly, we were fr frustrated. But God, in His infinite mercy, He showed us mercy. Yesterday in the evening, somebody sent 20,000 to us. The 20,000 was like 2 million naira towards our planning. And we were able to move this money. And we want to give glory to the Almighty Father who is able to do all things, who raise help where they, we do not even think there will be any help. So we were able to do to, uh, today's program, and we thank God for that. We appreciate every one of you. We appreciate all of you that are sending to us both your prayer and uh, solidarity. We thank all the people that have helped us financially too. Thank you so much. Now, I want you to know that Next week is loaded again as Power of Five will be coming to showcase its own documents too. Take note of this, like I have been telling you, we are not their enemies and they are not our enemies. We are not doubting them. We are only tired. We are only we don't we we are tired of today, tomorrow, and the prayers we are praying. We we are tired of it because we really need to know what exactly is happening. So our own aims and objectives, the only thing we needed is the proof that truly they are processing grants or the pro or the project or grant or empowerment is already available. So as we do today's own, today's own is full of many documents. Why we are, we are still waiting for the document of UAAG. But I want you to know one thing. Even if you want to fight, even if you still want to castigate, even if you still want to abuse, just think about it. For you that you have subscribed to something, something, or some whatever through the internet, you should be, you should agree with me that one way or the other, they normally send to your email for you to go and verify. That which we verify through our email can still be printed out and show that this thing is real. Then from there, we, they, we can take it up. For, so, well, for somebody who could not even provide a photocopy, we are still thinking about what could have happened. What will be the end of this UAAG? It's what me and you should be thinking. We are not going to be the judge. But you know till today, they have not been able to provide a single paper to show that, yes, there is something they call UAAG in Nigeria. And next week also, we should be expecting the like of a grassroots grant of Item Osim. Mama Supreme, I'm sure she's warming up. She says she has local grants now. And we shall be happy. We shall be happy to have fun in our midst where she will showcase her own document. Like I've told you, they are not my enemy. All I need is the proof. So any document they bring to the table of Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, they should know that it's subject for ver more verification, more investigation. And that is exactly what the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights will do for Epic Charity Foundation documents. Many were submitted again today. I don't want to talk much about it. But let's be waiting for their own report why we should be happy that Power of Five will be coming to showcase its document as a grant handler. And likewise, Mama Supreme should be warming up. Uh, Ali IG Chief Ainde Agidi also will be coming to showcase the documents of all his empowerment and night Muslim. All this we are hoping they will be there by next week by the great grace of Almighty God. 
we shall be reaching out to Osea. Osea should be warming up too. Why the Bema Davis should be warming up? Tepicon, Golden Bridge, Commonwealth, new uh, old project, uh, liberation, innovation, and so on and so forth. We shall be doing it one after the other. All we needed is the proof of their of their grants or projects or empowerment. The rest will be done go uh, by committee for the defense of human rights and any one of them that lied to us justice is what we are crying for and i'm assuring you that we will get the justice by the grace of god but anyone that really need have the grants and the grant is already in nigeria we shall move forward to approach the government to know the reason why they have not released the grant for us even with this odd period with this economy, uh, with this problem of inflation that we are facing in Nigeria. So if there is any one of them that have grants in Nigeria but have not been given to us, we shall be, for, we shall be moving to the government and demand the release of the grant for us. We shall do that on your behalf. And also we want to tell you that any one of them that their grant is yet to come to the country or empowerment or more or project we shall gladly pray on their behalf instead of we praying our means i want to suggest that we channel our prayer to that area and anyone thirdly any one of them that scammed us that could not provide his document or the document provided uh is is now certified to be fake we shall demand for justice we shall demand for justice and justice we shall get by the grace of god relax your mind be praying for us we will not relent we will not stop until we reach out to every one of them one after the other we will dig out even the dead among them we are good the dead program among them that the people have forgotten we shall bring it out and we shall demand for their uh, document. We shall demand for justice. God bless you all. I'm very tired. I have to do this voice note because many calls, many text messages, many WhatsApp calls, many Telegram messages. Please, I won't be able to answer any other one. Wait patiently for the one, the videos we are going to send out for you to see. And again, be preparing for the remaining grant handlers they have to come and they must come thank you all once again god bless you thank you i am temitokbe heluyemi balogun god bless you